Yes, sir. Back at you with another video with the pull-up king. All right, so we got a 2011 Nissan Rogue. All right, this is our trouble code. P0420. Catalytic converter. That's the front catalytic converter. All right, we're going to start with this. 10 mils, three of them. Hopefully they don't break because they normally do There's so much heat. One more bolt. Broke another one. Take out that O2 sensor. Next, we got five 14 millimeter bolts. Take those out. loosened up except for that one back there we gotta remove the alternator all right in order to remove your belt all right i got a short extension and a a deep socket uh a 14 mil on that belt tensioner and this is where i'm getting it from i'm gonna push it forward towards me to get release the tension and just like that it's off now I can take out the two bolts holding it. 12 millimeter bolt here. The bottom one is a uh, 14. Go ahead and move this bracket out the way. 10 mil. Now you can move it forward. Right, got it out the way. Move to the side. You can see that bolt right there. Get to it. Bolts out. All right, it's loose. Now we're gonna go to the bottom. We'll do that O2 sensor last, probably. Show sure what we got underneath. Got it jacked up. One. Two and three. Got those bolts out. Now we can pull it out, get it out of this position. You want to get it out of the holes because it's going to flex. If you don't try to pull it out from the top, it's going to flex with it. You won't be able to pull it. Like that. Now you can get it from the top. Back, back there. That right there is the rear catalytic converter. All right, you replace that. 
when uh, you have P0430 and O2 sensor with that. So what I do here, before I pull it out, I'm gonna undo this O2 sensor from the connector so I can just pull it all the way up. Then I pull the O2 sensor off of the old cat and put it on a new one. I got my bolts in. I'm gonna put that alternator back up in there. I did want to notate if you see a lot of oil around the engine like this, this is your valve cover. Valve cover gasket is in between it. They're leaking. Your valve cover gaskets you need to replace them. That's what's going on. All right, back down below. Right. Make sure you put the gasket in there. Two gasket ring. All right, and we got the, those bolts. We're gonna put those bolts in there and uh, tighten it down with the nuts. Alright, so these bolts don't even work. They too fat. You gotta figure that out. Alright, since those bolts didn't work, I took them and took the bolts out of the cat. The old one, I'm gonna put them in the new one. Alright, so those bolts are gonna go in just like this. Go ahead and put it together. Because if you put it, if you put the bolts in before you put it together, you won't be able to slide them in the holes. You'll have to unbolt the manifold or move these uh, hangers and that'll free it. So. I right, gotta put this alternator back together. Go ahead and start it up. Check engine light is off. And that is it. Smoking is normal. It's gonna burn off eventually. Let's give it some time.